Hey my baby pandas, I am back and I'm bringing you my very first manga haul of 2020. I can't wait to go through everything that is right over there. All the amazing manga I'm about to show you, all the new titles, all the continuations, all the new Yuri titles. Cannot wait to start. It is big. Let's just begin. Let's get into it. So the very first manga I'm going to show you and one of my favorite animes of all time, like in my top 10, is Elfin Lied. Or Elf in Lead. So you could either say it either way. But I did not expect them to release a manga of this at all. This anime is quite old. So for them to finally release a manga for it. I was super excited. And I had to get it. Um, I love this omnibus. This omnibus has three manga volumes in it. And if you have never watched it, please watch it before purchasing the manga to see if you like it. I'm a huge fan, so if if I like it, then it's good. So I'm gonna read the back so you guys can kind of get a little bit of a, a little bit of a taste of what it's about. Um, it is in the horror genre, so it is scary. It's a lot of blood, and that's why it looks really cute. But trust me, it is not. <laughs> so let's start. Um, what it says on the back. Captured and isolated against their will, the Declonius species are a threat waiting to break free. When a young Declonius girl, Niu, escapes from the research facility she was being held in, she manages to find solace in two allies until danger finds her again, putting everyone at risk. However, her enemies soon realize they're in over their heads as an attempt to subdue Niu results in unspeakable tra tragedy. Is it, is it getting blurry? I hope it's not. There we go. So, Lynn Okamoto's beloved series is now available in English for the very first time. Presented here in a special omnibus collecting three volumes in one. So, this is number one. I think, as far as I know, I think there's three. They should be three. I might be wrong. Or four. But I'm totally going to be collecting and completing the set because I really adore and love Elfin Lied. It is just... I love it. I love it so much. So if you watch it, let me know. And if you have seen it already, hold on, I want you to focus on this. If you have seen it already, what is that? What is that? That's all I'm gonna say. If you've seen it already, you already know. You already know about that. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. Moving on to my next batch of manga is Food Wars. So if you have been with me or are new and just watching this for the first time, I love Food Wars. Food Wars is amazing and my previous video is about me eating food. So why wouldn't I love Food Wars? I am obviously collecting pretty much the whole set at this point. Um, I have here number... Oh, and I did uh, watch the new season that got released on Crunchyroll, so... It's very good. If you love food and interesting things to with people when they react to food, watch it. It's kind of hilarious and interesting. Some of the things are a little bit are a little bit too much. I've said this before, but it's true. If you are watching Food Wars, you know what I mean. And if you haven't watched Food Wars, watch it so you understand this. So we have number. Can you guys see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover? We have number twenty-eight. That pizza looks good. <laughs> we have number 31, and what is she saying up front? Let me just see. What does she say? We're second years now. Oh my god. Number 31. Oh my god, it's so exciting doing another manga haul. You don't understand how much manga makes me so happy in my soul. Number 32. Mm. And then... Oh, number 33. Yes. Is it blurry? Hope you guys can see that. So I have been collecting the manga, but not ha I haven't been reading them. Um, so I'm not sure if the manga is ahead of the anime. So that's one thing I do not know. But all I can say is, if you love food, food and anime, cannot go wrong with Food Wars. Now the next one, let me just move things aside here. Okay. Now the next new series I bought because I fell in love with the anime is Skullface Bookseller Honda-san. 
I got one and two. And they are in a bigger format than most manga. And I'm going to show you. I think some of the pages are colored in the beginning. So Skull Face Honda. Oh, yeah. See? Here we go. Look at that beauty. Mm -hmm. Skull Face Honda Sun. And I thought this would be in like a four panel um, style, but it's not. It's actually very fluid, which I like. So if you guys don't know what is Skull Face Honda Sun, what it is, it is about, I'm going to read what it says here on the back. So it says, let me read this for you. Can you guys see? Yay. By the way, let me know what you think of the lighting because I have something up there that makes this a little bit brighter, which I think helps. So on the back, ever wonder what it's like to sell comics at a Japanese bookstore? Honda provides a hilarious first-hand account from the front lines. Whether it's handling the store, out of print books, or enthusiastic manga fans, fans? <laughs> manga fans, Honda takes on every challenge. Oh my god. And I am into, um, and I feel like I've mentioned this before, but I'm into kind of realistic, um, slice of life that have characters that are in the world of you know, anime, manga, or that are obsessed with it. Like, I like characters that have to deal with it in in their anime world or are big otaku um, characters. So the fact that he works at a bookstore that has manga, it's just, it's like everything I ever wanted. And I'll show you, oh my gosh. If you could see the back, if you want to pause this video right now just to read a little bit of it, go ahead and do so. But it is funny. It's hilarious. I love this so much. But they have like different characters. Of course, they have the Yahweh girls from overseas. Um, the next customer in line is a hunk. What do they have? Gas mask guy, a old hunk, the French Gramps, 801 girls. Oh my gosh, I love this. And here's number two closely again. I just love, I love this. Oh, there's people looking for Japanese erotic manga. It's just, it's hilarious. I just like seeing what they have to go through to run the store. And it is quite hilarious, intriguing, and just funny things ensues. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's Skullface uh, Honda-san. Again, all of the anime I do watch, most of them are on Crunchyroll. So... That's a little tidbit if you're wondering. Now, the next up, let me just move this aside. And the next set of manga is my continuation of Made in Abyss. One of my obsessions as well. I love Nanachi and I love Miti. I love them. I have only, right now, I've only watched what they have released um, in anime. I've only, I've watched all of it in anime. The manga I have not read yet. I know you guys are wondering, what? How can you not be reading it yet? Okay, I'm really weird. So I have a dilemma where I want to kind of, for example, The Promised Neverland. I... Should I do a Promise Neverland example? But I know the manga in Promise Neverland is ahead of the anime. Where I think Made in Abyss, Made in Abyss is the same, is in the same thing. This is definitely beyond what they have released in anime. Now my dilemma is, do I wait for the anime to come out for, with the next season? Or do I go ahead and, and find out all the juicy stuff in the manga series and what makes it even harder is I'm collecting it so I look at it and I see all these characters and I'm like what the fuck is happening <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do I really would like to wait and see when they release the next season of Main and Abyss but having these here in my hands and I could just read them to see what happens is very tempting am I the only one here I hope not but let's just let's just show you the, the cover so I have five Five. Mm hmm. Look at Nanachi. I love him. Nanachi. Mm. So, five. Six. Beautiful cover. 
and I have described this in the past um looks is very deceiving because when I got recommended to watch it I was like what is this cute shit I don't want no I don't want no, uh, to watch no cute shit and I was very fucking wrong I was wrong that's all I gotta say they go through shit they really do yes they look adorable and everything but like I said looks can be deceiving I did not expect what I uh what I saw um so made in abyss just a short summary without any spoilers it's about um a girl character and i'm totally now my my brain is spacing what the fuck i could only remember nanachi rico it's rico yes rico is the girl hold on oh my god this is so horrible when i forget my brain is bad but anyways there is a lead female character and they live in this world um where the town is basically built around this like huge cavern or like a huge meteor hole i'm just gonna i don't know really bad at explaining things <laughs> don't judge me for real anyways this is town that has surrounded this huge cavern that was created somehow i'm not trying to say too much but basically she needs to go down to the different levels of this hole to rescue someone i already like i just don't want to say too much just in case you you don't need to know whatever but it's really good it's it's good she meets people along the way nanachi is one of them and that's all i'm gonna say really good and um yes they are very cute looking but like i said they do go through a lot of stuff and um hmm, that's all i gotta say <laughs> so bad I need to learn to have better, like, vocabulary and, like, better words to describe things. Um, that's why I'm so, I've always, oh, I think I brought this back in the past, oh my gosh, there's so many videos where I said I'd like to do reviews, but I feel like if I did reviews, it wouldn't be, like, up to par to what maybe other people on the on YouTube can pronounce or say or verbally describe things. Like, I'm very, like... I don't want to say simple. <laughs> I don't want to say simple, but I feel like if I do a review, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be good. Would you guys want to really see a review from me? Tell me. Because I read, I'm finally slowly reading through my manga piles, and I'm like, oh, I should talk about this manga. Oh, I should do this. But then I'm like, will I make sense? Let me know if you'd like to see it. Anyways, moving on. The Ancient Magus Bride. Again. One of my favorite, one of my favorite animes. All of the manga I collect, majority of them, is animes that I fell in love with, and this is one of them. Ancient Magus Bride, Volume Ten, and this is just I love it. I'm not sure. Again, I um, didn't catch up with the manga yet, but I did complete what has been released on anime, and. Um, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I really hope... See? Oh, no. I have 10 and 11. But, yeah. Waiting for anime to be re released is, is a little bit poopy. Because I just want to know what happens. And, yes. So, 10 and 11. And Elias is daddy. <laughs> if you don't know who that is, it's this guy. That's that. And then, of course... I mean, if you are with me for quite some time, this one is amazing! Umaru-chan! Himoto Umaru-chan! And this is volumes 6... Oh, no, sorry. Volume... Oh, my God. Volume 4. And can we just show the back? Because this is actually... They have hilarious backings. I'm looking at all the other backings of the other mangas, and it's not as funny as Himoto. So number four, number six. <laughs> She's so cute. I love Umaru-chan. I still need to watch the second season. I don't know why Crunchyroll doesn't have it. Number seven. I love if you guys have watched the second season, let me know where you watch it at. Like, where do, where do you watch it? Because I want to watch it. So, Himoto Umaru-chan. I just love the colors. It's just amazing. 
it's about a brother and sister she is the sister that's the brother and out on the outside world she does not look like this but when she's home she's a lazy nerdy slobby yay and she's kind of annoying but i love her because she's like my spirit animal next up we have oh my gosh while i talk about this while i talk about this series first of all this hat my wonderful amazing girlfriend made this hat for me i love her to pieces my very very close friend since i've known since elementary if you're watching this i love you i told you i would wear this hat in a video and i have done it because it is me isn't this hat cute she made this she made this by hand <laughs> when i got it i freaked out okay going back on topic manga but yes this hat is me black and purple so let's talk about triage x this is i think the author artist someone something is connected to high school of the dead oh i think my camera is counting down on me one second um i was reading about so this is associated or has the same people that worked on high school of the dead and i saw in the news the other day or a little bit of a article saying that they might be releasing the next season of high school of the dead or like working on the next season of high school of the dead oh my gosh that anime i really enjoyed it even though some of the things that happened in there was so unrealistic like uh shooting a sniper rifle or something from her boobs <laughs> if you've seen that scene i don't even know what gun it was but he used he just just watch the anime okay it's like it's high school of the dead it's one of those that's just we need another season hurry the fuck up anyways i hope it's true i hope they make it fingers crossed but here is triage x and yes they do like their opais boobies whatever you want to call them they're quite um yeah it's interesting so <laughs> 18 and i'm going to show you the backs of these because they're like hello what the fuck looks like two heads three heads <laughs> but that's a head and these are not yay wow i like her outfit man mm, i want that outfit so that is oh shoot hold on wait wait let me start from the the lowest i don't know why i start from the highest here is number oh my god these are not in order. I want to show you guys in order. Sorry, guys. One second. So we have 15, 16, 17, 18. Here we go. There we go. Let's do this again. So here is number 15. And yes, there are male characters here. And they are quite, quite uh, handsome as well. So number 15. Oh my God. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. Number 16. And I'm going to show you the back so you understand. What the? Look at look at this. What is happening? Okay. Well, now now I really want to read this right now. Anyways, <laughs> number seventeen, and this is eighteen plus because it's in a wrapper. So anything in wrappers, you know what that means? It means there's something that kids cannot look at inside. Mhm. Mm and then of course number eighteen, which you saw just a second ago. So triage X associated. And, um, basically, people that made High School of the Dead, let's, uh, hope that they make it. Let's, let's do, because I want, I want it so bad. All right, now, moving to all of my beautiful Yuri manga titles. Um, a lot of new stuff here. A lot of new stuff and a lot of things that I am collecting or continuing collection. So this one I saw, it is called Hungry For You, Indo Yusuko Stalks the Night. Oh my gosh. When I saw this and I read it, I am obsessed. I'm going to read the back so you kind of can know what's up, what it's about. Okay, so let's read number one. Three girls have gone missing in gloomy Yumai town. And the assistant appears to be Indo Yusuko, a high school beauty who just might be a vampire. Her classmate Shizu has to wonder, is Yasuko undead, a serial killer, or just plain weird? The truth is bound wait, the truth is bound to come out in this quirky, slightly spooky tale of a delicious relationship. 
when I read that, I was like, sold! <laughs> I love just, I mean, come on. It's Yuri, it's vampires, it's some juicy, quirky shit. I had to buy it, and um, I'm hoping to review it with you guys. Again, let me know if you want to see reviews from me. Yes. Next up. And side note, I'm feeling my makeup. Do you guys see my makeup? Mm. I love it so much. It goes with my hat. And it's me. Alright. <laughs> next up. More Yuri. So what I'm coming or talking about next is like all Yuri stuff. So next up we have Eve and Eve. Eve and Eve beautiful cover look at that so gorgeous wow I just love it and if you turn it around they actually look like that in the reflection do you guys see that so Eve and Eve let's read what it's about so you guys can see if you like it so in the big caps it says I want to leave behind a miraculous love Eve and Eve begins with a provocative story a science fiction tale about the apocalypse and two women who love each other through the rebirth of Earth and beyond. The Eve and Eve collection showcases six short stories by the end, oh, by the up and coming creator, exploring the more intimate side of women loving women in different lives. I like it. <laughs> so that's Eve and Eve. And next, Yuri, we have... Oh, and this looks so cute. Oh, yes, this one is a colored one. I didn't expect this to be colored. The whole thing is colored. Look. It's colored! Look at that. I like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's called Yuri Life. P.S. I'm so happy with the amount of Yuri titles that are out. Because 10 years ago when I started my channel and started my whole manga um, addiction, <laughs> Yuri, Yuri was barely there. And now it's booming. So I'm very happy. So here we go. Back, what it says in the back. Girlfriends together in love and life. <clears throat> Cohabitating can make or break any relationship, but with a little luck, a lot of love and a healthy dose of patience living together can bring out the best in a couple there's a lot to navigate clashing personalities age gaps business trips conflicting feelings jealousy sex and even the supernatural but these women in love find a way to make it work mm, that's so cute and look at the back I really hope it's not blurry but look at the back there we go I love this oh I'm so happy! Okay. More Yuri. Guys, I went crazy in all the Yuri titles. You don't even understand it. And to be honest, like, I don't even know what's out at the moment. So there might be more, even more that I don't even have in my collection. So this is like a tidbit of what I've seen so far. So the next one we have, what is this? Cocoon. Cocoon Entwined. Let me know what that says to you. <laughs> It looks like Cocoon Entwined. Yes. I'm going to stand by saying this is Cocoon Entwined. <laughs> Alright, so let's read the back. Clad in school uniforms, practically breathing with life, are the girls of who... Wait. Hoshimiya. Hoshimiya. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for butchering the stuff. Girls Academy. Their hair long and luxurious when a puzzling incident involving the ever mysterious and elusive student Hoshimiya san disturbs their peaceful paradise. The hidden feelings these innocent schoolgirls possess begin to entwine and overflow in unimaginable ways. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm super excited to see what that's about. Next up, we have uh, ha, ha, Whenever Our Eyes Meet, a woman's love anthology. So here is how the cover looks like. Gorgeous. I like the one with the glasses. Very pretty. So on the back, it says, I fall in love with her. For those who devote themselves to their careers, love sometimes has to take a back seat. 
yet it can strike when you least expect it. Whether it's with a corker or a kindred soul at the bar after hours, what will tomorrow bring? Whether it's romance, loss, regrets, or just another day at the office, these are the stories of women who find love as they follow their dreams. Yes! <laughs> love this! Mm-hmm! Oh my gosh, by the way, because I have so much manga um, that I purchased and manga that you have not seen yet or on the way, I am going to be redoing my manga bookshelf, so stay tuned for that because I'm redoing it. It's, it's, it has to happen because if I don't do it, these mangas I'm showing you right now will not fit. So the next one is Killing Me. Now this, this cover is cute. I love this cover. I'm... I love it. Killing me. So, and this looks like it has to do with vampires again. Vampire Hunter Saki, Saki uh, Fujimiya is the epitome of poise and finesse. That is when she's not around Miyoko Koju. Why does Miyoko get such a rise out of her? Well, to begin with, Miyoko's a vampire, Saki's natural enemy, but that's not the only reason Miyoko gets under Saki's skin. Despite Saki's best efforts to kill Miyoko, something kept stop oh sorry, something keeps stopping her from biting the bullet and ending it all for good. It's hard to tell who's really the prey in this love comedy pact with a bite. <laughs> I like that. They look so cute. Oh, oh! I can't wait to read this. Yee! Killing me. The next one is a combination. Um, so this deals with um, basically the whole spe spectrum, not just Yuri. And I heard fantastic, fantastic reviews on this. And just a lot of people loving this story and um, everything that's in it. So again, this one is everything it's not just yuri so let's read the back a beautiful tale of coming out and coming of age not only is high schooler tasuku kaname the new kid in town he is also terrified that he has been outed as gay just as he's contemplating doing the unthinkable tasuku meets a mysterious woman who leads him to a group of people dealing with problems not so different from his own. In this realistic, heartfelt depiction of LGBT plus characters from different backgrounds finding their place in the world, a search for inner peace proves to be the most universal experience of all. So I really, I had to collect this um, just because of, I just love, love the fact that this has everyone in it and like going through and reading about characters and what they go through um especially coming out um you know finding out who they are i just am very intrigued about this um again i have not read this i've heard wonderful things about it and i'm super excited that this is in my collection i'm very glad that this has everything and represents everyone so looking forward to reading this and uh seeing what happens with everyone all the characters and what happens with their lives in this story very excited now this one is the last two manga that i'm going to show you and of course it's the biggest yuri manga very very popular is citrus and of course i have been collecting it so this is volume 9 and 10 nothing really special on the back but here is 9 and 10 let's take a close-up and the covers are very emotional on these ones and um i still uh i cannot wait to to dive in and read citrus and here is number 10 the recent manga that I did read, if you guys were wondering, is called A Scum's Wish. Um, I did watch the anime. I did not complete the anime um, because I actually had volume one uh, in my collection. And uh, A Scum's Wish, where is it? Anyways, I'll show you guys. I was contemplating doing a review on it. So let me know if you're interested. It is very, very juicy. The anime, of course, I watched way more 
of the anime uh, versus the manga because I only had volume one. But so far, it's juicy. I don't know how it ends yet. But let me know what you think if you'd like a review on that or just any type of review. Let me know. Um, so that is that is it. That's all of my manga so far. Again, I've mentioned I will be reorganizing my manga bookshelf. So stay tuned for that because, like I said, these are these will not fit right now so I have to reorganize everything and there is more on the way so I really hope you guys enjoyed this very first manga haul of 2020 I love you my baby pandas if you need more of me I have all my social links down below take a look take a look and I made a mailbox I'm gonna have it open for a few um, months to see um, you know what happens because I would love to be pen pals with you guys I've received mail and also I'll put in some mail already and I just love connecting with you guys on a different more personal level so if you want to send me anything it doesn't i don't need gifts whatever you want to send like a card whatever whatever you want to send i'm very open to it but i would like to return something back to you guys because that is the whole point of having my mailbox um it's just to communicate with you guys on a more personal level and exchange things so that being said that's the end of my video i will be back soon i love you my baby pandas more of me down below like i said I'm going to repeat it again just in case. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Okay, that's it. I love you. Mwah.